depression, anxiety, stress. What's common between these three things? They all affect our mental health. Today, we are going to learn about mental health. What it is, what makes it better, and what makes it worse. Firstly, let's ask some students what do they already know about mental health. I don't know much about mental health to be honest. Uh, I think mental health is when you have like mental health. It's being like being sick. I have no idea about mental health. Mental health is the health of the mind. Have you ever joked about mental health? Yeah. <laughs> no, never. No. I don't know what mental health is, so how can I joke about it? Yeah, sometimes with my friends, they just joke about mental health. Mental health covers a person's emotional, psychological and social well-being. Emotional well-being is how well we adapt to situations. Our emotions, feelings, thoughts. Do we have control over them? Psychological well-being refers to how satisfied someone is with their life. To what extent are you happy and how often are you positive? Social well-being refers to how much and well is in maintaining meaningful relationships with other people. Do you have many connections? Do you find it easy to make friends? So how do we keep a good mental health? Let's ask HPHS counsellor Mrs. Bauer. Um, I'm Mrs. Bauer. Um, I'm the head of the guidance department at Hamilton Boys High School. The main theme I think for being um, well and healthy is, um, is balance. So um, looking at just those basic human needs like getting enough sleep, eating well and regularly, not spending too much time online, um, having our connections strong with either our family and friends. So for, I think those are the sort of basic human needs that um, really support our, our mental health. Now that we know what a healthy mental health looks like, Let's dive into things like depression, anxiety and stress which could affect our mental health. Now let's go back to our students and let's see what do we already know about these things. What do you think depression is? Depression, um, I think depression is um, something which puts pressure on you which you don't want to do or don't have interest. Depression is when you're really sad. Being excited. Depression is like like you're being lonely and stuff. I have an experience of myself, but I really don't know. Do you ever get anxious? Like sometimes when like I've got like a really important test up, I might get a little bit anxious. Uh, sometimes. Quite uh, quite often, I get an anxious. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Although we had some good answers, none of them were exactly right. Although friends and family are there to help, never be afraid to ask an expert for help. I think, you know, with stress, it's actually a natural human reaction, as is some anxiety or worry, um, we, we generally, and, and even depression. Um, I think the problem comes when any of those things um, are happening so much that it's getting in the road of you doing things. So I think that um, it would be common practice to feel stressed when you've got an exam coming up. Um, but if that stress was always around, even when the exams went there, then maybe it would be a concern. With anxiety, same deal. Um, I think it's normal to feel um, nervous if you're going to be public speaking or, or doing um, maybe playing a really big sports game or whatever it might be. But I think the problem comes when that, that, stre that anxiety and that worry is so big it gets in the road of you maybe doing that. Or, um, yeah. And with depression, Again, I mean, if you um, think about grief and loss, it's really normal to feel low mood, um, sad, upset if you've lost someone close to you. The problem is, if time goes along and you, you still have that low mood. I think um, that there's definitely a stigma involved with seeking support for mental health, and that goes for, uh, for everybody. Um, but I think with boys, men, um, the challenge is that um, seeking help for mental health can be seen as a weakness um, and ideas about mas masculinity, particularly in New Zealand, um, being strong, tough and, and coping sometimes get in the road of, of young people and particularly men seeking support. 
just about everybody in their life has some challenges um, that happen and, and causes emotional challenge. Uh, so yeah, don't be afraid. It's not, a, it's not a sign of a weakness or anything like that because you will find somebody that will support you in the end. At HBHS, we strive to look after each and every one in our community. A student-led initiative called HEART makes sure they provide a safe place for everyone to feel included. Now let's go to HEART co leader Wyatt Winky. Um, hi, I'm Wyatt Winky, and I am the co-leader of HEART this year. HEART is a student-led initiative here at HBHS where we are striving to increase inclusivity and diversity in our school. Diversity meaning people who identify with certain genders, sexualities, who are part of certain races or cultures, or sizes or abilities, and making sure they feel welcome in our school. And kind of creating an inclusive environment where everyone knows what's happening, knows about these identities and how to treat them. We do this by having weekly meetings and discussing with our heart group about ways we can improve the school as well as having fundraisers for charities such as the Mental Health Foundation or Inside Out and having contact with these people to be able to educate both staff and students in our school about rainbow issues and how we can improve their mental health and how we can make the school more accessible to those with disabilities and make that um, make issues around race and culture um, become more minimized in our school. So now we know what a healthy mental health is. Some issues that hinder our mental health and how to maintain healthy mental health. Mental health is not a joke. It is as important as a physical health. So ask for help if you have a problem. There are many other people who is also facing the same problem as you. And there are many other people who could help you. I'm Rahul Naya. Be safe. Stay healthy. Goodbye.